welcome back to another friday reads excuse my hair i'm like in a plaster today and i think let me just oh let me just bring a little bit of light in here i don't know if that oh i don't know if that even helps um a little bit flustered i'm starting to think that i should probably change the um hi i should probably change the times for these friday reads but if I do, I will definitely communicate that on my stories because every single time I come on here in the past two or three weeks, I've had other things to do that are work related. Even today, I have a deadline that I'm pushing and here we are. So I hate feeling like I'm rushing through these things. So I think maybe I'll move them later on into the evening, but I'll definitely let you guys know in advance. But um. I, as always, I always have three segments to my Friday reads. That's books that I've just received, uh, books that I finished the previous week, and books that I want to look into in the coming weekend slash week ahead. So um, if you're new on here, obviously, this is me just trying to explain that. And today, these are the books that I received. I received these two packages. Hopefully, I don't get <laughs> I don't show you guys my, um, what's this? my address but i received these two packages um from jonathan ball publishers i just um what's this cut the openings for me to be able to show you guys what i got i don't know if i'll be reading the back of these because it seems like it's quite a couple of books i received the package today so this is from both of these packages are from jonathan ball publishers i think i'll just show you the covers because like i'm saying i am rushing off to complete a deadline my life but um yeah so the first book that i received from jonathan ball is the second life of tiger woods which i am looking forward to um this one is by michael bamberger or bamberger you guys know how i am with authors names but that's what it looks like and then i also received harry the unauthorized biography by danny white um and then lastly from that first package i got an ordinary wonder by bookie papillon or papillon huh? yeah papillon that's what that looks like you guys can let me know if you want me to read you the the back of any of these books so the, these are the books that came in that first package they, these are from jonathan ball so it's harry the unauthorized biography by danny white it's the second life of tiger woods by michael Bamberger. let's go with that and then an ordinary wonder by bookie papillon and then the second package um has two books but they're pretty thick which is probably why they package these twice oh, well in two the first one here is seize the yay uh by sarah davidson and then the next the last one is the children of dahara it is a pretty thick <laughs> by terry goodkind or goodkind i don't know that's what i got from j ball so if you guys want me to read the back of any of these just let me know um let me just see what you guys have said if any of you have indicated um okay the last one looks lovely please read are you talking sorry fifza are you talking about this one if you're talking about this one please tell me yes or no and then i'll read the back for you guys and then okay so an ordinary wonder is i'm interested in okay let me just read the back Ooh, let me just read the back for you guys then um an ordinary wonder by Buki papillon i want to say that's the surname guys like i suck at these things so it's an evening standard best debut for 2021 an ordinary wonder is the powerful coming of age story of an intersex twin Otto, who is forced to live as a boy despite their heartfelt belief that they are a girl. Otto's wealthy and powerful family is ashamed of their identity and okay, of their identity and treats Otto cruelly to ensure silence. The love from Otto's twin sister wavers in a world of secrets and lies, which seems determined to tear them apart, and Otto must make dramatic choices that will alter the whole family's lives forever. With African mythology, art and folk tales this moving and modern book follows Otto through life at home and boarding school in nigeria and their ultimate dream of emigrating to a new life in the united states 
it is a novel that explores complex desires as well as challenges of family, identity, gender, and culture. An Ordinary Wonder takes us on a beautiful journey of what it means to feel whole. So that's that. I love the queer literature that's coming out of Nigeria. So this one should be just as interesting. And can we talk about the cover? Okay. All right. That is beautiful. Even the spine has the same kind of feel to it. The the girl or non-gendered person who's wearing what seems to be a white dress. Very beautiful. So this one is, yeah, it really does sound very good. I don't think this one needs any introduction or for me to read the back. And neither does this one. Um, I don't know if anyone wants to hear the back of Seize the Yay by Sarah Davidson. Um, apparently she's the founder of the Matcha Maiden. Um, let me know if you want to see the back, I mean, for me to read the back of that. And I don't know if anyone is interested in the back of the children of Dahara. Uh, yeah, let me know. Then, um, in the past week, I did not finish anything because guys, to be honest, I feel like I'm in a funk about a lot of things content about um life just generally i'm just in some a certain mood and what i know about myself is that when i'm in that kind of season it's no good to force myself to do anything so i try and limit anything that feels forced um but that said i did read it's not like i didn't read i just didn't finish anything so i am on page 90 of chintu which i am absolutely loving this is the full winner reads book club pick for the month april no what march april however i am gonna announce on the group the book club exists on facebook on a group on facebook i'm gonna announce that we are pushing this up by a week because some of the people that i did communicate with who are on the group who were reading this for the first time are still not done including myself so we're gonna push it up by a week and like i'm saying i i, I really don't even enjoy the whole idea of people feeling like they need to rush a book because it's due for book club i would rather we enjoyed the leisure and the story like paced the way that it should be rather than us feeling like we are in a time what do you call it struggle to get to where we need to be because i feel like you lose part of the joy of of the thing if you have to do that however this is not a reflection on what jennifer is doing with this gem of a book which i am absolutely loving i've just started book two of it so it's it's split into four books. I could be wrong. It is split into six books. It's split into six books. I don't know if you guys will see that. And what I absolutely loved when I opened this book is this cast of characters because that's what I note down every time that I write on my notebook when I read books to see how everything interlinks. So I love the fact that she did that for me from the start absolutely love that and then she's got a family tree going over here because this does look into various generations of chintu's family and so far love it love it love it love it so i've got nothing to show you um relating to what i finished during the week because i haven't finished anything and then um into the new week and this weekend i am going to continue reading Chintu, which I will push up by a week on the Vuvu Vena Reads book club. If you guys have read this and are interested in the book club, we do a, um, what's this, rooms meeting at the end of each book on Facebook, but you have to be part of the group to get the links to the, to the room. Um, just let me know and I'll send you the link. Just let me know via DM and I'll send you the link to the group for you to be able to join. And we will be having this discussion, not this Saturday then, the next Saturday. So for just the recap on the books that I received today from Jonathan Ball Publishers. Um, I'm just checking that I haven't forgotten anything. Okay. So I received An Ordinary Wonder. I did re read the blurb of this one just now. Um, Seize the Yay by Sarah Davidson. Um, Harry, an, an unauthorized biography by Danny White. The second one, what wife? The second life of Tiger Woods by Michael Bamberger and um Terry Goodkind or Goodkind, the children of Dahara. Like I'm saying, this one, let me just tell you how many pages. Like, 
is ridiculous. Okay, <laughs> really, who's gonna be able to hold this? Yeah, hi, okay, guys. Wait a minute. <laughs> Let me just know. It's not time for me to love. This is eight hundred and ninety-three pages long. So those are the books that I got today from Jonathan Ball. Um. What are you guys reading into this weekend? What are you looking forward to? Are any of these books piquing your interest? An Ordinary Wonder is definitely one of those that I'll pick up first. Like I'm saying, the queer literature that's coming out of Nigeria is is impeccable. If you guys know anything about me, you'll know that last year, my favorite book of the year was Under the Odala Trees by Chinelo Okparanda Beautifully told. It was my first introduction into African queer literature absolutely loved it i just recently finished another nigerian queer literature book um the death of vivek orji by akwege amezi absolutely loved it broke my heart in every single way that you can imagine and in some odd way put me back together i don't know how to explain it but they are doing the most with 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 this sub genre it's just phenomenal i can't even i cannot even <laughs> so it's the cover right the thing is it took me a while to see what was going on i don't want to lie to you guys because i was seeing these books for the first time as well as i was opening them so i didn't understand what was going on there and then i was like wait a minute this is beautiful absolutely gorgeous i've never heard of the author so if you guys know the author and anything else they've written just do plug us in the comments but i've never heard of bookie at all i don't want to lie to you guys um I've been seeing this one a lot and I agree the cover is gorgeous. It is stunning. Yeah, April was like that. Hey, it's been like that. And I feel like um next well tomorrow, <laughs> me and my daughter enter our birthday month. And I feel like I'm very pensive, very reflective, very internal. Um when I'm about to enter into a new year in terms of age-wise and sometimes and especially at the beginning the reflection is very critical i think of myself of what i have achieved in the past year how i i feel about my life direction etc and some of those thoughts are very so sobering and very somber i think and perhaps that is also why my april has been feeling a little bit funky and i really don't feel like creating when i'm not in the mood to create if that makes sense to you guys because i feel like whatever i give you guys will be subpar but like i'm saying i'm i'm on the other end now and i'm feeling a whole lot better so you can expect to see some stuff okay um yeah april yeah has been so tough that's true um the thickness of this book hey, let me just read the back the reason why i was laughing earlier fifza is that something tells me that uh -huh, that this is a series but i'm not sure if this is book one let me just read the back so that we can all be on the same page but I think the name of the series is The Children of Dahara. Yes, it says here, name of the series, Children of Dahara. And there's one, two, three, four, five books. It's The Scribbly Man, Hateful Things, Wasteland, Witches Oaths, Into Darkness. Right? Right. So now what I want to understand is, originally published in five parts, in 2019 2020 the last two books were in 2020 the first three in 2019 what we need to establish my dear friends is is this here book everybody do you get what i'm trying to say is it everything because if it ain't everything then i have no idea why we would be reading an 800 and something long book okay i'm gonna take it as it being okay let me read the back it says confront an apocalyptic nightmare the world has been forged anew tyranny vanquished the breach between the living and the dead healed the stars themselves realigned in oh it is in it is in the triumph richard Rall and his wife kalan amel 
fought so hard over so many years for now they plan to bring a golden age of peace to a world shattered by terror and war okay i'm already peaked i don't know about you guys what they do not expect is a demand for their immediate unconditional surrender Ooh. not just their surrender but the surrender of their entire world the children of the hara picks up immediately after the conclusion of terry good king's best-selling stories the sword of truth in a breathtakingly compelling blockbuster novel no guys it kind of require me to read another series before i can get into this i'm gonna do one of those things that i always judge people doing and i'm just gonna start this way i got it because after which series the sword of truth hi 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 guys because the sword of truth has one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen books i could not babes me i'm reading this one <laughs> i am not gonna be looking for 17 books it cannot happen hey um so let's see what are you guys reading this weekend The Ordinary Wonder. I'll read it again for you, Sims, because you just came in. But I did read the back of, of it for the rest of the people earlier. So, An Ordinary Wonder by Buki Papillon. Sticking to that. If that's not the surname, I do apologize. So, it says it's an evening standard best debut for 2021. An Ordinary Wonder is the powerful coming-of-age story of an intersex twin, Otto, who is forced to live as a boy despite their heartfelt belief that they are a girl. Otto's wealthy and powerful family is ashamed of their identity and treats Otto cruelly to ensure silence. The love from Otto's twin sister wavers in a world of secrets and lies which seems determined to tear them apart and Otto must make drastic choices that will alter the whole family's lives forever. With African mythology, art, and folk tales, this moving and modern book follows Otto through life at home and at boarding school in Nigeria and their ultimate dream of immigrating to a new life in the United States. It is a novel that explores complex desires as well as challenges of family, identity, gender, and culture. An ordinary wonder takes us on a beautiful journey of what it means to feel whole. This one is gonna be a good one. I can feel. I can feel it. Oh, f hey, the hound of bookstagrams. Hey, fifza, doo's mess will mess you up. Hey, and now I'm still recovering, which is why part of me is allowing her to take her time with some the end, and then another part of me is on some. You can't do that. You know, like I feel like you just can't. You can't do that to us. I mean. After the mess that was mess, you're making us wait for the end. I, I don't get it. Like, Songke, we are on, we are hanging by some string and Dudu is just having fun with us. Apparently, she's out there feeding elephants and stuff instead of giving us the end. I, and yes, but that book will mess you up. Like, it messed me up. And one of the main stories that is being told there is of my favorite character in the entire series, which is okay. My heart is still not okay, okay? I feel like I trusted Dudu with my heart, and she did things that should never be done with anybody's heart with the mess. I'm messed up because of mess. Thank you very much. The book does sound very interesting. Hey, this does sound interesting, but I'm not reading the pre-series or whatever they want to call it. And if this is not the entire series, then I don't know what a Terry good kind or good kind is trying to achieve by giving us this big a book. No, babes. This is the kind of book that you read maybe over three months because what a wow. What a wow. <laughs> yeah no people i feel like at the very most if you want to write a lengthy book let's give you 450 pages i mean there's no reason for us to be stretching to 800 unless like i'm saying these are all the books in the series then 800 is fine but if it's not if it's not the complete series then no babes mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, it, it, it 
it does for me too i feel like i will get into it but i'm not gonna it's not gonna be one of those that i i read from back to back start to finish i'll probably take breaks in between like i'm not trying to do no 800 no 800 pages okay yeah marina narnia is over there right i read the first three books uh i was not so i read the the horse and his boy the lion the witch and the wardrobe and the magician's nephew so that's the first one right the magician's nephew the lion the witch and the wardrobe the horse and his boy i absolutely obviously loved the lion the witch and the wardrobe i mean it, it goes without saying i do think it's the most popular one in the series and then um when i read the horse and his boy it was a such a slow start for me i loved how it it all tied in together and what happened towards the end but it was such a slow start to me for me sorry that it made me feel very you know when a series feels like a drag it started to feel like a drag but it is still on my bucket list to finish this year so i've got four more books to go but what's lovely about um the books is that they're very short and like everybody knows the series is written for kids um c.s lewis did write it for did write it for his niece forget her name but i think one of the characters is named after her totally forgot the name but um so i will be able to read it quite quickly because the books are short and um it is written very simply but right now i'm like i feel like you did me dirty with the horse and his boy so i will just wait i think the next one is prince caspian if i'm not mistaken i'll just have to wait okay when i feel up to it again i will pick it up okay mm -hmm. but i am still on that mission um hi lita congratulations on your nomination for the sunday times slash cna literary awards if you guys don't know lita he's the author of the eyes of the naked which he's been asking me to read for the longest time i will get to it but i see you here and hello and congratulations all the best on that nomination yeah okay the thing with the chronicles of nana is that at least you know that it's huge but there are seven books in there right with this one i'm not sure how many books are in there and if this is just one book then child forget me forget about it okay let's let's just forget about it let's just hope that it's <laughs> it's the entire series otherwise it can be forgotten okay um so uh SB writing reading soul says they'll be starting a tall history of sugar by Cordella Forbes. I'm gonna ask because most people know that I love fiction. Is this fiction or nonfiction? Because this title says to me it is nonfiction and okay i need to know what the pull is for a tall history of sugar. However, if it's fiction, do tell us. Do tell us. I wasn't saying that about oh about miss aisha good luck there when i miss i mean i'm not there uh lisa says life on a south african farm by olive um shriner i think i've heard of that one is what i'm reading currently partly a research but partly as a read to enjoy okay how's it going so far um oh you've made me so happy everybody was like Why my heart was just casted for that guy very soft very very soft but like i'm saying mess killed me killed me okay so it's called story of an african farm okay no problem uh somali says i'm reading the death of vivek oh. and the chick book girls by helen habila chick bok chick bok tell us about that one please sims because i don't know i've never heard of the author or the book and everything is a deadly flower okay i've heard about that one um okay so story is a story about a man who was born without skin in jamaica i win what was the name of that book no 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 that <laughs> firstly it's scary um but okay it's called a tall history of sugar by Cordella forbes and you are saying it's a story about a man who was born without skin in jamaica 
yeah is this fiction or non-fiction please because like my heart already is like and and understand but okay okay like my my mind i don't know if you're one of those people right my mind is is very weird so i also watch what i i like watching series and movies before i go to bed but i'm also very careful of what i consume before bedtime because i am the type that will dream about it okay i will dream about it and probably not even for one night for probably the whole week it's kind of like even devastations like devastating news etc they they plague me in my sleep so stories of that nature especially if it's non-fiction i am i try to stay away stay far away so we are at the end but i'm gonna show you for the last time what we got in the mail today from jonathan ball the second life of tiger woods sees the yay Harry, then unauthorized biography, an ordinary wonder, and the Chanka, the children of Dahara. And like I said, I didn't finish anything in the last week, but I am still reading Chintu for the Vuvu Vena Reads book club. That is a group over on Facebook. And we are going to push this up by a week because some of the people that I've engaged with who are on the um, book club have not yet finished like myself. So we will be discussing it next week saturday and so far i'm absolutely loving it um smaller says chick bok girls is basically the girls that were kidnapped by boko haram mm. they from chick bok a village in north nigeria that one is very interesting okay i'm i'm interested in that very interested in that otherwise i hope you guys have a great reading weekend and Oh, sorry. I hope you guys have a great reading weekend and great reading week. And hopefully May becomes a great reading month as well. Let's smash our goals. Jan January, June is going to be <laughs> the halfway mark. So the mid, um, mid year book tags, freak outs, whatever are coming through. So hopefully no one gets to freak out. And so far, so good for me. I must be honest. I think I'm on book 18. If not 19, I'm not sure, which is quite well, well done for me because March was a disaster. So I'm very happy to be back on track. Otherwise, wishing you the best weekend reading wise It's going to be a little bit gloomy in Joburg. So hopefully you guys use the time to snuggle up to some books. And until next weekend, thank you so very much for joining me. Bye now.